So here we are in Revit 2021, and I just want to take you through some simple roof discipline in your Revit models. So we've got a new office building, and you can see we're in the 3D view at the moment. We're going to go over to the project browser and jump into our roof floor plan. And as you can see, there's the outline of the building in plan with our elevation markers. I'm going to zoom in a little bit so that you can see the edges of the building. And then in the architecture tab on the ribbon, into the build panel and select roof and roof by footprint. Now what we're going to do here is make sure that we've got a decent roof. I'm using a warm roof in timber, like so. And then in the draw panel, I'm using the pick walls. Now notice in the options bar, and this is the important bit, we've got defines slope ticked with an overhang of 500 millimeters. As I go around now, can you see the dashed line indicates the overhang? So I'm going all the way around. It does join automatically at the corners to a point. I'll show you what I mean. Because we've got this glazed curtain wall on the front of the building, it's always worth zooming in a little bit and just making sure you get the right part of the curtain wall. So you make sure the overhang is actually on the outside, like so. It's a little hover and then a drag and like that. And then using trim extend to corner, make sure that you've got a continuous boundary going all the way around. And then when I zoom out, you can see that our pink sketch line goes all the way around the building edge and all our roof edges have those little triangles. Now those triangles denote a slope, they define the slope. So how do we get this gable end wall that I've mentioned in my blog? Well, it's pretty easy. So what we'll do, we'll hit the green tick first to confirm our roof. There it is, all nicely highlighted in the roof floor plan. I'll click away now to deselect. When I go back to the 3D view now, there's our roof with all our nicely sloping edges. Now, we want a gable end wall here on the right view there, which is the east elevation. Now, I'm just going to do a little bit of zooming and panning here and a little bit of orbiting just to bring this in like this. There we go. So that's in our 3D view like so. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to the roof floor plan and I'm going to select my roof and I'm going to edit my footprint like so. Now, you'll notice that they've all got the little triangles indicating that each roof edge has a slope. I'm going to select my east roof edge there like so. And then I can untick here, define slope, or I can untick here in the properties. And you'll see that the little triangle disappears, like so. That's great. We hit the green tick to confirm, like so. And you can see that the slope has gone from that right-hand edge, the east elevation. What happens now if I click away from that, just to deselect it, and then go into the 3D view? We have a little bit of an issue. You can see our wall there does not go all the way up to our gable end roof. How do we fix that? Well, we select the wall. We go to Attach Top Base here in the Modify Walls Contextual tab. And then I just select the roof that I want it to go up to. And lo and behold, hey presto, it's done. Click away from that to deselect. And our wall is now extended and is attached to the underside of our roof, forming our gable end of our building and our gable end roof. 